you ever been in one of Jeff's class, you know that it is exciting. It's the meeting with the students, the one-on-ones, the mentoring, the knowing that I've been teaching at SU for 23 years and that some of the students that I taught are now leaders in the industry. That means so much to me for a student to be able to say, you helped me. That's, that's more than a paycheck is ever gonna give you. We start out with 100 incoming freshmen. We graduate close to 300. And I attribute the fact that many of them have transferred into the iSchool from his class. What he's done with Sidearm and really taken a business that started with one school um, the athletics website at Syracuse, and now he's scaled that to over a thousand schools. And he's been able, was able to incubate that in the iSchool. The dean at the time, Ray Von Dran, who, who was one of my biggest mentors, really encouraged me uh, to, to grow this company, to build it, to try. And the iSchool with Ray, and then followed by Liz Liddy, was with us the entire way. It was always, what can we do to help you, right? And I love that, and it's what I try to do now, is, what can I do to help you? We give students uh, the opportunity to have internships, have part-time jobs, and this allows them to grow. It allows them to get real-world experience to mix with their academic experience. You need leaders if you're gonna get anything done. And Jeff was a leader um, in terms of Plaza 44. And then to honor you know, three of the great running backs um, in the history of, of college football. Because it wasn't just about building three statues. It was about telling a story. And when I see the kids reading these stories and to understand about Ernie Davis, understand Jim Brown, the greatest athlete of all time, to understand Floyd Lill and what he's meant to the game of football and what he's meant to Syracuse University, I beam with pride. You know, when you look at the nonprofits within the community, they don't exist without help. And so you pick where uh, the, the ones that really impact you for whatever reason, it started because he has a true passion and a belief and a firsthand knowledge for what we do at David's Refuge, which is to care for parents who have a child with special needs. This was an organization that took care of the families, the caregivers. It just spoke to me in a way that no organization had, and it's one that I'm proud to be involved in. You know, his heart is all things orange and all things Syracuse and, you know, we are so fortunate to have someone like him in our community and at this university who serves first with his heart and all of his talents that follow. Orange, to me, is a sense of pride. It's a community, a belonging. I would not be who I am today, I would not be where I am today without Orange.